Kiti chake cha enzi umekitupa chini. Umezipunguza siku za ujana wake, umemvika aibu. E Bwana, hata lini utajificha hata milele, ghadhabu yako itawaka kama moto. Mungu aribariki neno lake. Tuinamishe vichwa tukaweze kuomba. Falme Mwenyezi Mungu, nimelisoma neno lako na nimesimama madhibaoni ni kwa ajili ya neno hili mfalme. Nashuka tu chini kama chombo ukaweze kunitumia. Ukajitwalia utukufu katika madhibao haya. Unabariki nafsi zinazoenda kupokea neno hili. Ukajidhihirisha miongoni mwetu kuwa wewe ni mokozi. Nataka kukataa kila minuko Nataka kukataa kila minuko ya muovu Ambayo ineza kuinuka kinyume na neno mchana wa leo Katika zina la yesu ikaweze kushindwa Roho wa buwana akaweze kuchukua nafasi ya kwanza Na ni kwa yesu naomba na hata kuwamini Asubu ya leo naenda kuongea kuhusu Wakati mbingu zinanyamaza ama when the heavens are silent wakati mwingi ukipata mtu aliye na furaha unapomuuliza ni kwa nini ana furaha atakwambia mambo yangu yanaenda jinsi vile nilitaka yaende ama atakwambia ninaona mambo yangu yakinyoka kwa sababu sina shida lakini ukapata mtu aliye na kilio atakwambia sioni mbele wala nyuma ninaona nikiwa ninasukumwa ninaona nikiwa Mungu hajibu maombi yangu na ndiposa wakati mwingine tunajipata katika hali ile na wakati mwingi tutaona ya kwamba mbingu zimenyamaza ama mbingu hazina majibu haleluya na mahali ambapo nimesoma mwandishi wa maneno haya ni Daudi na katika mahali ambapo nimesoma nimezigawanya mara mbili unapoanza mstari wa 34 kuelekea mbele kidogo unakuta ya kwamba ni Mungu ndiye anaongea na Mungu ndiye anayetamka maneno haya ni kwa ajili ya mtumishi wake Daudi lakini unapofika mbele unakuta Daudi ndiye anayelalama Daudi ndiye anayelia Daudi ndiye anayeongoleza Daudi ndiye anayeomba ni kwa ajili ya maisha yake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Na Daudi anapoyaongea maneno haya, Daudi ana uzuni. Nataka nikukumbushe jambo moja ya kwamba Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa agano. Mungu anayeweka agano na anapoweka agano lazima Mungu akamilishe. Mungu amemwahidi Daudi katika neno hili tunaposoma anasema ya kwamba hata mwambia Daudi uongo ya kwamba anayomshuhudia Daudi ni maneno ya ukweli anayomwambia Daudi ni maneno yaliyo hai anayoweka na Daudi ni agano Bwana Yesu asifiwe nataka ukae mtoto wa Mungu kijua ya kwamba jinsi vile ulivyo Mungu ameweka agano na maisha yako the Lord has placed a covenant between you and him and he is a covenant keeping God and he will keep the covenant until he will fulfill it hallelujah hallelujah he tells David I will bless you. I will exalt you. Nitatoa katika familia yako. Nitajitwalia Mbeshia ambaye ataukomboa ulimwengu. Bwana Yesu azifiwe. And it reaches a time David anaanza kuomboleza. Kwa nini anaomboleza? Daudi anaona ya kwamba mateso yameinuka. Matabu yameinuka. Haoni jambo la kufurahia. Anamwalilia Mungu anamwambia, Mungu kwa nini umeniwacha? Mungu kwa nini umeondoa mkono wako juu yangu? Sauli ndio huyo ananikimbiza. Sauli ndio huyo anataka maisha yangu. Unasema hujatajitwalia mfalme katika kizazi changu. Je, Mungu hili litaweza kutimika? Daudi ana 
kulalamika Bwana Yesu asifiwe Daudi anaona ni kwamba kila agama ambalo Mungu amemwekea ni kama limechukuliwa vile vile mimi na wewe wakati mwingine tunafika mahali tunaona ni kama Mungu ametuacha kuna mambo yanatendeka kuna nyakati tunapitia ndani tunajiuliza je huyu Mungu kweli yuko haleluya wangapi washajiuliza maswali kama hayo ushajiuliza je huyu Mungu yuko anaona nikipitia hii shida Huyu Mungu yuko kweli. Maombi ninayoomba kila siku, je, huyu Mungu anayasikia? And that is the time when heavens are silent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a time when heavens are silent. And that is the time David is going through. Remember God has promised him many good things. God has laid a foundation for David. God has promised him and this is the same same David who God has empowered God has even made him kill Goliath a man who many people were afraid of a person who many people could not move closer to him but God has strengthened him until David has killed Goliath but David is still crying he's saying Lord why have you left me you were with me in the beginning I have even killed the world I have killed animals in the, the lions I have killed but Lord now you have left me hallelujah so David is crying and when the heavens are silent I only have three words for you nina mambo matatu ni kwa ajili yako wakati mbingu zinanyamaza hallelujah hallelujah nimesema Tunamtumikia Mungu ambaye anaweka agano. Mungu ambaye habadiliki. Anasema neno lile ambalo nimemwapia Daudi sitalibadilisha. Neno ambalo limetoka kinywani mwangu sitalibadilisha. Litabaki kuwa jinsi nilivyosema. And one thing I like about God, he promises he will never change. A man can change, even I I can change, but the Lord will never change. Mungu hawezi badilika. Mwanadamu anaweza badilika. Mwanadamu anaweza kudanganya, lakini Mungu hawezi kudanganya. Anasema neno ambalo limetoka kinywani mwangu sitaligeuza. Yesu asifiwe. Number one, When the heavens are silent. Number one, Know that there is a time for fulfillment of the spoken word. Yesu asifiwe. Ya kwamba kuna wakati ambapo lazima Mungu atatimiza neno hili. Yesu asifiwe. Na hata kama litachukua muda, lazima Mungu atalitimiza. Hata kama litaonekana kuchelewa, hata kama litaonekana limekawia, hata kama unaonekana ya kwamba unaishiwa nguvu hautaweza. There is that appointed time where the Lord must fulfill. Lazima Mungu atimize. Hata kama unaishiwa nguvu, hata kama utaonekana ya kwamba hauwezi kwa macho ya wanadamu, lakini machoni pa Mungu kuna ule wakati ambao Mungu ameweka atatimiza neno lake. Hallelujah. Look at the life of Joseph. Angalia huyu Joseph anaambiwa na Mungu akiwa kijana, Mungu anamuonesha ndoto, anamwambia ya kwamba mwezi na jua vitakuinamia, ndugu zako na dada zako watakuinamia. Anamuonesha akiwa kijana, lakini Joseph takes about 13 years and over for the fulfillment of what God has promised. Even though it will tarry, even though it will take time, but the Lord must fulfill. Look at the challenges that Joseph goes through. Anapitia wakati, ndugu zake wanamukata. Anafika wakati, jamii yake inamukata. Wanamuuza, anajipata kwa nyumba ya potifa. Anafikiria ya kwamba, hapa ndipo mungu aliahidi ya kwamba tanibariki kutoka. Anapofika pale, mazingara pia hayafraishi, mazingara pia hayakumali. Yosefa anapitia. 
anatumia mateso katika nyumba ya potifa wakati huo anajipata katika jela Aiva you are Joseph I will tell God God what did you say you said that the moon and the star will bow down at me my brothers will bow down at me here I am alone where are they at the appointed time of Jesus you remain to be alone Unabaki tu peke yako hata jamii na kukataa hata marafiki wanakukataa unajikuta huko peke yako lakini neno la Mungu halibadilishi alilokusudia alifanyike lazima alifanyike alilokusudia alifike lazima litafika ndani ya maisha yako nataka nikutie tu moyo usikate tamaa kuna ule wakati Mungu amehaidi atatenda mwimbaji akasema Ameahidi atatenda. Haleluya. Mungu ameahidi atatenda. And I want you to look at Abraham and Sarah. Mungu anawaahidia kwamba atawapa mtoto. And it takes a very long time. Sarah Sarah anafika pahali anakata tamaa na sema na huu umri wangu mimi sitapata mtoto. But the, at the appointed time the fulfillment is fulfilled. Amen. Haleluya. When the heavens are silent, know that there is an appointed time. Kuna wakati Mungu ametenga. Lazima atakubariki. Maana anatuambia katika neno lake ya kwamba ninajua mawazo ninayowawazia, ni mawazo mema. Ninajua mipango ninayowapangia, ni mipango ya kuwafanya mufaulu. Haleluya. How many how many are accepting there is an appointed time wangapi wanakubali kwamba kuna wakati ambao Mungu ametenga atatenda Yesu asifiwe na Mungu anapokawia haimaanishi ya kwamba amesahau anatuambia pia, pia katika neno lake mimi si mwanadamu ni dangani na wala sikio langu sio zito lisisikie Yesu asifiwe What God says has come will come to pass and it must pass because when we read the word of God in the beginning Genesis inatuambia kwamba and God said and so it was and God said let there be light and there was light Sasa haya yako madogo yanaweza kumshinda Mungu kweli Haya yako yanaweza kum, yanaweza kumfanya Mungu asahau kweli kama Mungu aliumba misingi za ulimwengu kwa neno tu alilosema na likatendeka nataka nikutie moyo mtoto wa Mungu kuna wakati Mungu amepanga atakubariki na sure he will bless you he is a covenant keeping god yeye si mwanadamu asahau yeye anaweka agano na aliloweka lazima litimie praise god Amen. number two. number one nimesema kuna wakati Mungu amepanga atakubariki number two. Mungu amesikia kilio chako kuna wakati mwingi unaweza kujiuliza je haya maombi naomba Mungu anayasikia kweli kwa sababu unapoona yale unapitia yanakuwa ni mazito. Nataka nikutie moyo. Mungu amesikia kilio chako. Praise God. When you read in the book of Daniel chapter 10 verses 12. The word of God says, an angel came to Daniel and told Daniel, uh, from today, from the first day you started praying God has heard your word and God has heard your cry and he has sent me. Yaani Mungu amesikia maombi yako kutokea ile mwanzo ulikusudia kunyenyekea na kumlilia Mungu. Mungu amesikia kilio chako na mimi nimekuja kwa sababu ya maneno yako. Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. How I pray today Wacha Mungu atume malaika ndani ya maisha yako kwa ile jambo ambalo umekuwa ukiomba juu yake wacha Mungu akutumie malaika na Mungu alete suluhisho ni kwa ajili ya jambo hilo when heavens are silent remember one thing 
Mungu amesikia kilio chako. Malaika anamletea Danieli habari njema. Anamwambia kwamba kumbuka unaposoma mahali pale unamwona Danieli ako katika siku ya na moja ya maombi. Danieli amefunga anaomba mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Anamwambia Mungu, maono haya unayonionyesha yanamaanisha nini? Nataka unifunulie, nataka unionyeshe, nataka uniambie. Na Danieli ako katika siku ya na moja lakini bado yuko kwenye magoti. Wakati mwingine unaweza kuomba lakini haupati majibu. Haimaanishi ya kwamba Mungu hajasikia. Inamaanisha ya kwamba Mungu amesikia kilio chako. Mungu amesikia maombi yako. Mungu amesikia unavyohitaji. Ni malaika tu anatuma alete habari njema. Pokea habari njema katika jina la Yesu. Pokea habari ya kufunguliwa katika jina la Yesu. Pokea habari ya kuinuliwa katika jina la Yesu. Pokea habari ya kubarikiwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kwa maana Mungu amesikia kilio chako. Na haimaanishi ya kwamba unapoomba Mungu anapochelewa kuleta majibu si haimaanishi ya kwamba wewe uache kuomba. Shida yetu wapendwa Tunakata tamama mapema lakini angalia kama mtumishi wa Mungu Daniel amefunga anaomba ako katika siku ya na moja na bado hajachoka malaika napolete majibu anamkuta akiwa kwa maombi anamwambia Daniel usiogope Daniel usiogope kwa maana nimekuja ni kwa ajili yako Yesu asifiwe Many of our times Tunaona ni kwamba maombi majibu ya maombi yanachelewa. Nataka nikwambie hayajachelewa. Mungu amesikia kilio chako. Ni wewe tu uzidi kuomba na kumtafuta Mungu naye atakutenda. Yesu asifiwe. Unaposoma katika kitabu cha Luke Luke chapter 18 verses 1 through 10 unamkuta mwanamke mmoja ambaye alikuwa anafanya kazi ya kusisitiza kwa mfalme ambaye alikuwa amesema ya kwamba sitamsaidia huyu mwanamke kwa sababu ananisumbua lakini huyu mwanamke hakuchoka hata kama alikuwa anaenda na mfalme anakataa kumsikiza kesho pia alikuwa anatokelezea anakuja mara ya mwisho mfalme akachoka akasema mwingizeni ndani niamue kesi yake kwa sababu ananisumbua sometimes my dear brothers and sisters we need to be more persistent in prayers tusisitize tu ndani ya maombi tunaweza kuona mambo yakiwa magumu tunaweza kuona ya kwamba tunaishiwa nguvu lakini hatutachoka kuomba tuendelee kuomba ndipo Mungu aweze kutenda. Yesu asifiwe. The arrogant judge said, let her in. I decide her case. Kwa, kwa maana ananisumbua. Kuna wakati mwingine yahitaji tu tusumbue Mungu. Tumwambie Mungu, we are still here. Tuko hapa. Na kama hautaenenda nasi, sisi hatuendi. Na kama hautanena ni kwa ajili yetu sisi hatuendi. Yesu asifiwe. Mungu anaambia Jehoshaphat ya kwamba waambie hao watu vita si vyao, vita ni vyangu. Yesu asifiwe. Kuna wakati tunapitia challenges. Kuna wakati tunapitia magumu. But one thing remember, the battle is not ours. It belongs to God. And because it belongs to God, let us persist to God. Wacha tu tuzidi kumuomba. Wacha tuzidi kumtumikia. Wacha tuzidi kumtafuta. Kuna wakati Mungu atajibu. Yesu asifiwe. Number three. Number three. When heavens are silent, I want you to know that the grace is sufficient. Neema inatosha. Katika mambo yote, neema inatosha. Wakati mwingine unaweza kuona hakuna suluhisho kwa shida yako. Nataka nikwambie 
neema inatosha and that is why unaposoma katika kitabu cha second corinthians chapter number 12 7 to 9 the bible says mtumishi wa Mungu anasema ya kwamba anawekewa miba na wakati anawekewa miba mara tatu anamlilia Mungu anamwambia Mungu uondoe mwiba huu Mungu nitolee mwiba huu Mungu niondolee haya machungu Mungu niondolee haya mateso lakini neno linalotoka kinywani kwa Mwenyezi Mungu ni kwamba neema yangu inatosha my grace is sufficient unto you Mungu anaweza kosa kuondoa mwiba lakini akupatie neema Unakana huo mwiba lakini neema inatosha ndani ya yote neema inatosha wanadamu wanaweza kuona ya kwamba wamekumaliza wanaweza kuona ya kwamba wamechukua kila kitu ulicho nacho ndani ya huo Mungu anasema neema yangu inatosha watoto waragia nataka niwaambie neema ya Mungu inatosha ndani ya kanisa neema ya Mungu inatosha haijalishi watakufanyia nini lakini kile ambacho ninajua neema ya Mungu inatosha ndani ya mateso ndani ya kukataliwa ndani ya kilio ndani ya kukawia neema ya Mungu inatosha vyote neema ya Mungu inatosha na kama kuna kitu natamani ni neema ya Mungu initoshe maana nikiwa na hii neema si neema ya kawaida tu ni sufficient grace yani neema inayotosha Musada wa wanadamu unaweza koma. Urafiki wa wanadamu unaweza koma. Vitu vingine vyote wanadamu vinaweza koma. Lakini kile kitu ambacho hakiwezi koma ni neema ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Itakufungulia milango zingine. Haijalishi umebaki na nini? Haijalishi ni nini kimechukuliwa? Haijalishi ni mwiba gani uliodungwa? Lakini ndani ya yote neema inatosha. And when you have the grace hautarudi nyuma unazidi kwenda mbele Yesu asifiwe kama kuna kitu inafaa utamani ni neema ya Mwenyezi Mungu neema inafungua milango ambazo mwanadamu hawezi kufungua the grace inafungua very great doors that no man can open wengi wetu tume survive kwa sababu ya hiyo neema And I remember one time Reverend Rosemary when we were at the college ilikuwa inafika pahali hata mtihani uwezi fanya because you don't have money haujalipia hauna mbele na nyuma na ilikuwa ni wakati ambapo sisi tunasoma tukiwa na familia tuko na watoto wa kulea at the same time nafaa tulipe school fees but neema ilitosha Tuliona neema ikifungua milango. Tuliona neema ikitengeneza njia mahali ambapo hakuna njia. Kuna wakati mwingine unaweza kuwa katika shida, hauoni njia mbele yako, hauoni hata rafiki, hauoni msaada, lakini neema unapokuwa nayo neema inakutosha. This grace is sufficient. Na hiyo ndio sababu Paulo anapolia anamwambia Mungu utoe huu mwiba kwa sababu huu mwiba unafanya watu wananichekelea and i was trying to do my research nikijaribu kutafuta ni mwiba gani huu Paul alikuwa anaongea kuhusu nikakuta Paul wakati alibadilishwa kumbuka alikuwa mtu ambaye alikuwa anateza kanisa na ikafika wakati Mungu akambadilisha na kwa sababu ya ile anda ambaye limpiga Biblia inasema miguu zake zilijikunja macho yakaangalia yakawa chongo mikono sijui kakaa namna gani and he was challenged na alikuwa anaambia Mungu Mungu usipoutoa huu mwiba tazama vile ninafanana how do i tell people ya kwamba Mungu unaweza how do i tell people you mbali ni Mungu amenifikisha how do i convince them that god is a healing god god change me restore me the way i was so that i minister nibadilishe Mungu nikubalike katika society niposa waweza kunikubali nikaweza kuambia Mungu naponya and god said na kutumia jinsi ulivyo
ulivyo Neme yangu inatosha Jinsi vile ulivyo utahubiri Jinsi vile ulivyo utaishi Jinsi vile ulivyo utaokoa wengi Neema inatosha Mpendwa neema inatosha ndani ya familia yenu jinsi vile mlivyo neema inatosha because god wants you to be that way kuna wakati mwingine ninapoangalia ninasema mungu un, vitu zingine unakusudia ziwe jinsi zilivyo ndio zinafanyika katika maisha yetu na zinabaki uchungu wakati mwingine tunapozikumbuka tunashikwa na machozi tunatiririkwa na machozi tunachafuliwa na roho tunapozikumbuka kuna challenges unapozikumbuka wakati mwingine unahisi ya kwamba ah hii dunia ingepasuka tu niingie ndani nijifiche nisionekane but what does god say my grace is sufficient yesu asifiwe neema yangu inatosha anamtia paulo moyo anamwambia jinsi vile ulivyo tumika hivyo Nema yangu inatosha. Yesu asifiwe. Tuna tunawekewa mishale ndani ya maisha tuliomo wakati huu. Kuna mishale tunawekewa kwa maisha yetu. Zingine zinawekwa na wale watu tunapenda zaidi. Wanatuchoma mishale, wanatuchoma miba. Yaani Mwingereza akasema wanatudisappoint but when they disappoint you let them go kwa sababu Mungu hakusudia wakue katika maisha yako huenda wangezuia baraka huenda wangezuia milango zingine kwa hivyo wacha waende wewe tumika jinsi ulivyo neema inatosha Yesu asifiwe and when katika hiyo uchungu tunalilia Mungu tunasema maneno mengi wakati mwingine tunamkashifu lakini Mungu anasema what I have spoken is enough na hiyo ndio sababu nakwambia ndani ya maisha tuliomo sahi whichever challenge unapitia ndani unaweza kuwa unapitia mishale mingi hata kazini umetupwa mishale hata ofisini mishale hata ndani ya jamii mishale zaidi ya yote unapoingia hata ndani ya huduma ni mishale neema ya Mwenyezi Mungu ikutoshe neema ikutoshe uko katika hali ya magonjwa unashindwa hata ni nini kila wakati ni madawa wakati mwingine madaktari wananena maneno ya sio ya kukutia moyo nataka nikwambie lile ambalo Mungu anasema ni lile la kukutia moyo ya kwamba neema inatosha na inatosha kuliko vyote and what was i saying when the heavens are silent wakati mwingine mbingu zinaponyamaza Mungu anakutia nguvu ya kusonga mbele haimaanishi ukate tamaa inamaanisha ya kwamba ungangane usonge mbele because at the appointed time God atawachilia ile kitu ambaye alikusudia ifanyike ndani ya maisha yako ikaweze kufanyika Yesu asifiwe. Most of the times mbingu zinaweza kunyamaza and I want you to remember Mungu anasema majibu ya maombi yangu ni matatu. Ninaweza kusema mwanangu ndio. Ninaweza kusema mwanangu ngoja. Ninaweza kusema mwanangu hapana. When the heavens are silent, remember God has three answers. Anaweza kukujibu ndio. Anaweza kusema hapana anaweza kusema la anaweza kusema ngoja haimaanishi ukate tamaa usonge mbele Yesu asifiwe huenda unapitia katika hali ngumu huenda unapitia katika mateso huenda unapitia katika kukataliwa huenda unapitia katika hata asa mwezi huu wa krismasi huu unapitia magumu kumbuka agano la Mwenyezi Mungu lazima litimie na wakati huu Daudi anapolia anamwambia Mungu umerudisha hata upanga wangu nyuma umbuka huu ni upanga uliouua hata goliati huu yani nguvu ambazo alikuwa nazo ndizo nguvu ambazo alikuwa anatumia lakini Mungu ameziondoa Haimaanishi ya kwamba mpendwa si kwamba hauwezi unaweza but God has a fulfillment 
of the appointed time. Yesu asifiwe. Na tunapo muona Daudi anaomboleza hapa. Anamambia mungu. Nilini utajificha. For how long will you hide yourself forever? How long will your wrath burn like fire? Daudi ako na uchungu ndani ya moyo. Nataka tu nikumbisha mtoto wa mungu. Mungu anakupenda. God loves you so much. Na analo kusudia lazima litendeke. So God has promised good things in your life. God has promised excellent things. Mungu anakupangia ya liyo mema. Haimanishi challenges unazo pitia ndani. Ndiyo mwisho wako. Inamanisha ya kwamba huo ndiyo mwanzo. Yesu asifiwe. Wakati unapitia challenges, huo ndiyo mwanzo wa baraka. Yesu asifiwe. Huo ndiyo mwanzo wa baraka. Unaenda kuinuliwa kuliko pale ulipo. Joseph didn't know in the prison God will still remain to be God. Alilo kusudia, Mungu lazima atalifanya. That is why in the life of Joseph anabaki kuwa mwaminifu hata anapokuwa ndani ya jela Mungu bado ni mwaminifu bado anamtumikia hata akiwa katika jela na is the same god who never changes even in your situation god is still god god is still god Mungu bado ni Mungu haimaanisha amekusahau haimaanisha amekuacha yeye bado ni Mungu Yesu asifiwe haleluya haleluya Hallelujah. God remains to be God. He never changes. And that is why anamwahidi, anaweka agano na David. He says, I will not lie to David. I have sworn by my holiness, I will not lie to David. Even David alikuwa anajiangalia anasema, God says, my inheritance shall live forever and he's going to make a Messiah from my lineage. How will it be? Kuna watu wanasema ya kwamba mimi mungu wa liniahidi I will be more than I am. You will bless me. But Lord, look at the challenges. Look at the circumstances. How will it be? God is a covenant keeping God. He will surely bless you at his appointed time. I want us to rise on our feet as we sing this song. And God uh, will surely answer. And uh, as we sing, you will just talk to God and tell God, God, you are a covenant keeping God. And whatever you've promised in my life, Lord, let it just happen for the glory and honor of your covenant. Zaidi ya vile tuona vyo Mungu anaweza kutenda Zaidi ya vile tuona vyo Mungu anaweza kutenda Zaidi ya vile tuona vyo Mungu anaweza kutenda Zaidi ya vile tuona vyo Mungu anaweza kute Nda zaidi Tuona vyo Mungu anaweza kutenda Zaidi ya vile tuona vyo Mungu anaweza kutenda Zaidi ya vile tuona vyo Mungu anaweza kutenda 
Kwa sababu wewe ni mungu Na ni katika jina la yesu kristo Kwa sababu wewe ni mungu Kwa sababu wewe ni mungu 